Good morning guys, it is morning, it is Tuesday morning and I'm just about to head off to work, which is awesome. I'm feeling a lot better, I'm not as tired and stuffed as I've been. Still have a cold and all that, but I'm feeling a little bit better, so good morning guys, I hope you have an awesome day. Hi guys, so I'm home from work, it went really really good, so hopefully the rest of the week will go as good because I'm... I'm in a better mood, it works. I'm still low, but it's a better low. And I'm gonna try not to push myself too hard and not try to be up here all the time and instead actually letting myself be a little bit grumpy. Maybe not at work, but at home. <laughs> oh, I have the cutest little kitty. Cutest little kitty. What was I was supposed to say? Um, I just cut off my nails because I'm gonna make a new video and uh, my nails started to look a little raggedy, so I cut them off and he was very interested in me doing that at the sink so I turned on the water in the sink and he's like it's water and he puts his head underneath the water coming so it drops in his head and he's over all over him and he's like what is happening? Why, why, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> you put your head in there all by yourself when it was running. It wasn't me to... I didn't put it on on his head. He actually put his head underneath the water all by himself. I had the cutest little kitty. He's a little bit, a uh, little bit whiny today. Found out that he has a little cut on his one of his paws, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that. I got um, a couple of sand grains out of it. I don't know what have happened, but hopefully it's just gonna be all okay. So poor, poor, little, poor little Gizmo, he's hurt his paw a little bit. It doesn't look bad, so it's, it's gonna be okay. I am, however, gonna sit down and do some coloring, which I haven't done for a while, which is gonna be awesome. Well, I have done coloring, but it's been very, very small bits and pieces of coloring. And today I am going to record at least one video that is going up tomorrow, hopefully two videos, so we'll see. But I'm also going to colour a stamp that I need to get up, so those are the things in my plans today, we'll see how far I come. And I am also going to knit, but I'm going to, probably going to do that in the evening. I knit one and a half wrist warmers yesterday and I'm going to see if I can get two and a half knitted today because I have um, two pairs that is going out and I want to finish them before the end of the week so that's awesome I woke up to an order this morning um, every little order that's playing in my little Etsy inbox it's like oh I got another order it supports my little heart and makes me happy but yeah I am going to do some colouring what do you think? Should I put a little kitty bed up on there so he's having a little kitty bed to lie in? Because he lies there a lot. He's a little bit tired. He's not. Well guys, it is time for bed. I actually have been sort of productive this afternoon. I have made two cards, one video that I edited and voiced over and exported. So yeah, I've been very productive <laughs> this evening. Um, I needed to be. I need to uh, get moving a little bit to kind of make my mind a little bit happier. I'm still downer. I'm still on the verge of tears for some reason. But I'm hoping that resting, working, and doing things that is fun will kind of remove it. And I actually read, uh, starting to read a book. Um, I'm working at a place where we are doing a lot of new things all the time. There are a lot of changes going on all the time. So uh, one of the guys at work uh, thought that, hey, let's have a book club. And it's actually on work time. So you can go once a week, we meet and we discuss uh, a chapter in the book and kind of figure things out. I, I guess we discuss uh, in connection to our workplace. Um, I'm going to my first of those meetings this week. 
and I had to read two chapters in the book. The book is called Switch. How to change things when change is hard. It's by Chip and Diane Heath and it looks like this. And basically it's talking about one, th one of the things I talked about when I talked about mod, pro mod programming. I think I talked about this. Which is one of those things that I really much pick up on. And that is that you should focus on the bright spots. Basically when you do a big change, whatever change... Uh, you should not take too much time when you have a big issue you might not need to overhaul everything in a big way you might just need to tweak small things to make it work much better so if you have a problem you should look in your environment and see if people with if there are people with the same in the same situation that doesn't have the problem that is a bright spot and try to figure out why is that a bright spot? Um, this book is filled, I meaning filled with um, research. It's, it's facts, it's research, it's showing that these things, uh, this is how people behave and this is how we can ma manipulate ourselves to change. They talk about the elephant and the rider where the elephant is the emotion in yourself and the rider is the logic and it's very simple and that is uh, if you don't have your emotion with you in a decision, in a change um, the elephant will run amok and the rider can only steer the elephant so much it's so much bigger than the rider, so the elephant will, will always take the reins. But if the rider can get the elephant to willingly go there without having to force it, then the change can happen. And you can actually apply this to anything in your life. It can be your diet, it can be your mental health, it can be everything. And it's just filled with things. And, and I read it and every other meaning is like, or sentence is, is like, ah, oh, this is what I should have th thought about. This is what I should have thought about. And then there's also one of the things, the chapter, I read chapter one and two now. And in chapter two, they actually discuss um, a sort of psychology, which is, um, no, I don't have the notes for it. I should, oh, oh, I should have maybe put a little note somewhere. Um, but basically it is, um, it's, you don't do archaeology psychology where you kind of analyze where you come from and your upbringing and what's wrong with that. Instead you look at your situation um, and you try to figure out uh, to, for example, um, if you are counseling an alcoholist and um, you ask him what would you do? What what little thing would show you that a change had been if you wake up in the morning? What would you do if you had a change? Um, also, when was the last time you were sober for an hour? We're not talking about the big changes, we're talking about the small changes because they are so much easier. And when I were, the last period I was with a psychologist, um, I had two doctors. I had one which was a, um, she was both a therapist but also um, a physiotherapist uh, and we didn't train. Instead we had a reflection from, um, we were First, she gave me massage. The first the first day, we had like a three-day episode thing. The first day, she gave me massage uh, because I was very, very tense. And But it, she didn't do the whole body. Instead, she found really, really hard points and gave me like acupuncture on those points that really, really hurt. The next week, we discussed what feelings that came up after that time, what feeling was loosened about, what is what what I was thinking about, um, what kind of before feelings, 
uh, what happened previously in my life that could have gotten me to feel that way. Um, and and we went round there. I don't. I think the third was kind of analyzing what I can do in this situation uh, about that. And then you do the that over and over. Also, I had another therapist, and I've never been able to describe this, but she was doing that um, memento thing instead of digging into my past about what my what had happened wrong, how I was teased or, or anything of that, she were focusing on the problems that I had now and what I personally can do to remove them. Um, how I could change the way I thought about things and that way I could change who I was. Because there, I had a lot of bad thought processes um, where I put myself into really really bad circular things about how bad I was and everything and um, I ended up basically in the gutter and very sad and reading this book I was getting all these why didn't I think about that now why what can I do in little small steps that is bright points to make me happy uh, and make me work again because there is something I think it is or um, it is that I'm overwhelmed with all of the health issues um, the the elephant wants results much much faster and therefore want to give up um, I'm trying to do so much at the time that I exhaust my elephant <laughs> or I exhaust my exhaust myself you can only do so much you only have so much energy and every decision you take big or small every day is exhausting and the more you go on autopilot the less exhausted you are so if you get yourself into routines you won't exhaust yourself so much and you will have more energy to take the big decisions basically and I have a lot of those things that I do because it's tough and I know I have to stand up with them but maybe I'm gonna try to make fewer of those kind of decisions every day and try to spread them out a little bit more don't try to do everything immediately because then I just get exhausted and I just fail but yeah so it's a real good book uh, I never ever read a sort of self-help book ever. This is the first book I read and it's awesome. And I think I'm going to start reading again because it is fun. But yeah, I am going to head to bed. So good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye.